Hey there, guys. Um, so we're taking a look today at a, a super simple roguelike. Um, I, I can't emphasize how simple. It's the uh, it's roguelikeness distilled down to its absolute most elemental state. Um, this is called... Let's make sure I have this right. It looks like it's called The Legend of Ekma. It's also known as JS1K2010 Demo. A game by Brian Long. Uh, 1,020 bytes, so I guess it's like a one kilobyte roguelike, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, the one thing I, I first of all have to mention, it is a first on this channel. It is a it is an online roguelike. Uh, I.e., you, you can't download it. I'll include a link to where you can play it online, but it is playable only directly online. I'm never a fan of that for reasons we've already seen one game where, we, where it was a 2000... Uh, well, it was one of the seven-day roguelikes early on, 2006 maybe. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but it was lost to time because it was an online roguelike and eventually the website's down and it's not like we can find anybody who still has a copy or it's not like we can use the Wayback Machine to access it and download it. Once you lose the website, it's gone. Um, so I prefer games that you can download and own. But here we are, our first online roguelike. Um, here's how simple this is. Uh, the Legend of Ekma. Descend the dungeon to find the Amulet of Ekma and then return it to the top floor. Very much like, well, Rogue, which was to retrieve the am Amulet of Yendor and bring it back to the first floor. Um, monsters subtract one health. Potions add one health. Features one bit pixel art, randomized dungeons. Uh, when it says randomized dungeons, it means randomized dungeons, not procedurally generated. You'll see there, it just places squares, essentially obstacles. So we're the little guy with the sword on the left. Um, they are the two armed dude. Um, there is only ever either one of two things either an enemy on a level, one enemy, or one potion. Now, I just played this, and uh, I, I got the amulet, and I tried to bring it back out. Um, I may have succeeded. I reached a level where it seemed like there was nowhere else to go, unless I got turned around and went back down to the bottom by accident, but there was only one staircase left that I could see that seemed to lead back downstairs, so I may have won this. I think I won it, but let's see if we can duplicate that effect. I don't know if we can. Um, it looks kind of blurry, that's because this is a tiny, tiny portion of the screen. I'm basically capturing my, uh, my Chrome um, Windows screen, and uh, this occupies like such a small portion of it. All right, so you're using the number pad to move. As you can see, these guys move directly towards you. That's how simple the AI is. It charges towards you. They can move diagonally. You cannot. You can only move vertically or horizontally. Um, unfortunately, yeah, there, they caught me, so I lost a life. Not much I could do about that. But hey, here's a health potion. As I said, there's only either a health potion or an enemy online. It's never the same. Very important, don't lose track of what, what constitutes up and what constitutes down. It's not very clearly delineated. We came out of the one with a with a lower portion on the left, lower portion of the stairs on the left. Therefore, we gotta go to the one with a lower portion of stairs on the right. So for now, we always want lower portion of stairs on right. Lower portion of stairs on right, got it. There is a tiny bit of strategy. Uh, if you can block these guys in, if you can get somewhere to block them in, that's one way you can dodge them. I'll show you another trick in a second. There you go. We got our health back. Lower portion on right is down. Fuck. Well, I'll show you right now. I'm going to go back here. There, randomly, back up. Uh, it gives you a new random level. Um, I don't know if it... I think if you've already defeated the... Uh, lower portion of stairs on right. See, I've gotten turned around. We want lower portion on right. I think I went the wrong way. Didn't I? Damn it. I think this is what we want. Lower portion on right. I think once you've cleared out a... Maybe there, maybe it's not. Maybe it's the same damn thing every time. Maybe you, maybe it's not random every time. Let's just try this and see what happens. Oh, it's not. Okay. Shut my mouth. It isn't different every time. But you can ditch them a little bit. Ah, I thought I had them. Lower portion on right we want. I very much want to win this while you're watching because I already won it once without you watching. Um, I think. If so, there's no victory screen. It's just like, okay, you're done. See, I think he'll automatically get us on the way back though, right? Lower portion 
portion of it. There's not much to say about this, guys. This is the entire gameplay. As I said, we, we've we made it a... Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. He can get, of course, diagonally. Um, a very specific mission to play every single free English roguelike ever made, and this qualifies. Um, there's the, there's the, the amulet. I don't mean to say that to discourage uh, Mr. Brian Long. It's a... You know, it's it's a it's a roguelike. It's a functional, a fully functional roguelike, and done in one kilobyte or less. It looks like, unless I have my numbers that constitute a one kilobyte wrong, I should put this in the one kilobyte roguelikes folder uh, or uh, playlist. Um, I guess I will. So now we want lower on the left. Yep. Yeah. I don't think I can dodge him, can I? Nope. No, I could not. No, we're pretty close to death, guys. I think I might disappoint you. I'm sure I'm going to disappoint you. There's no way around this. That's that. There we go, we're dead. <laughs> And that's the entirety of the gameplay. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play again or, or anything. There's no real no real point. As I said, I'm 99% sure I won it directly before posting this. Um, if I am correct, if anybody else plays it and they get to the they get to some sort of winning screen or some sort of announcement that they won, tell me, and then I'll know I didn't win. But as far as I know, I climbed back to the surface with the amulet with one health left, and it just all it was was the top level, and there was nothing to do once he got there. He just sort of hung out. But there you go. That is the Legend of Ekma, a.k.a. JS1K2010. Those are my initials, JS. Um, but I have nothing to do with this. That's it. Uh, I suggest you check it out if you're uh, if you're interested in, uh, in a one kilobyte roguelike. That is, you know, minor a minor distraction. It's minorly fun. That's really all I have to say on the topic, guys. I'm going to head off and uh, play some Battlefield Five. I feel like shooting some Nazis in, uh, in non-ASCII format. So that's my uh, that's my afternoon spoken for. Have a good day, whatever you're planning to do. Bye.